What's up? This is Mr. Roach with another esti uh, Estimate Like a Boss lesson or video. I'm sure you're getting bored of these. This is going to be an easy one. All right. So today we're going to calculate lineal feet. Lineal feet is needed to estimate the amount of trim that you need, the amount of cove base that you need, the amount of drywall tape that you need, the amount of pieces you would need or trim pieces you would need to do siding. All right. It's all about adding the lengths of material. All right. So if we go to Home Depot or we go in the back bay of our shop and we were to grab one two by four, all right, a two by four measures one and a half by three and a half by 96 inches. Okay, this is the thickness, this is the width, and this is the length. All right. So when we're calculating the lineal feet of board needed, we ignore the thickness and the width. And we focus on the length. Okay? So if you grab the 2x4 and you were holding it in your hand, you would have 8 feet of 2x4 or 8 linear feet of 2x4. Alright? So if we went in the back and we grabbed four 2x4s. Alright? And they measure 2x4 by, by 8. We're going to ignore the thickness and the width and we're going to focus on the length number, which is 8. Alright, so if we have four 2x4s that measure 8 foot long, we simply multiply 4 times 4 times 8 equals 32. We have 32 linear feet of 2x4. Okay? It's not about the thickness. It's not about the width. It's all about the length. Okay? So I'm going to draw a little drawing here. A floor plan. So... If you're looking down or looking at a blueprint, or even if I went out to a job site and I wanted to draw this room on a piece of paper, I draw an overhead view. Okay? So the room measures 100 times 20. Alright? So 100 feet long, alright? 20 feet wide. Okay? So in a lot of our equations, we would take 100 times 20. That isn't the case. All right, we're going to call this the great room. Okay, so we want to figure out how much, say for example, crown molding we need to do around the ceiling in the great room. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add up the lengths of the wall. If this is an overhead view. This wall is 100 foot in length. This wall is 20 foot in length. This wall is 100 foot in length, and this wall is 20 foot in length again. So we're going to add all these numbers up to figure out our total linear feet needed. All right? So 100 plus 100 is 200. 20 plus 20 is 40. 200 plus 40 equals 240 lineal feet of wall. All right? Now say that the crown molding that we have only comes in 12 foot lengths. All right? So we go to Home Depot, the crown molding uh, comes in 12 foot lengths. Okay? How we figure out how many pieces we would need is simple. We're going to grab our calculator out, we're going to clear it out. Clear it a couple times to make sure there's no numbers left over from the last equation that we did. And we're going to take 240. All right, and we're going to divide that by 12 feet. All right, so we would need so 12 or 240 divided by 12 equals 20. We would need 20 pieces of crown. Okay? Mold. Alright? So, this is a very simple equation here. I broke this all down so that it was even numbers and everything was easy to do. So, let's erase this. Let's erase this. And let's erase this. Alright? If you need to review that problem, just go back. Push play again. All right, so I'm going to draw something a little bit more intricate. All right, 
This is a floor plan because it has a room describer, so we'll call this a bedroom. It looks a little big, so we'll call it the master bedroom. Okay? This bedroom here measures 24 foot. Mm, why don't we go 6 inches? 24 foot, 6 inches in width. just fine, alright? Because you can use decimal feet to figure out your total linear feet as well. Alright? So, we have these two different numbers, but they're, they're they're different. This is how we would read it on a job site, 24-6, 24-6, and this is already calculated in decimal feet. We can enter these numbers into our calculator. We can't enter 24 foot 6 into our calculator the way it stands. It'll throw our decimals off. All right. So we have to convert 24 feet 6 into decimal feet. Very simple. All right. So 6 is half a 10. All right. Or if you need to learn how to calculate decimal feet, go back into some of them videos if you don't remember and refresh yourself. All right. So, so we'll go 24.5 decimal feet. 24.5 decimal feet. All right. Don't be afraid to go back. So now simply what we're going to do is we're going to add all these numbers up. All right. So now that our decimal feet, we can enter them in. So 24.5 plus 24.5 plus 12.3 plus 12.3 equals. So that comes up to, I'll write it out longhand for you, 12.3 decimal feet plus 4.5 decimal feet plus 12.3 decimal decimal feet plus 24.5 decimal feet equals 73.6 decimal feet. All right. So we could walk to the store and we can order 73.6 decimal feet. All right. And uh, that's what we would need as far as length, 73 feet, 74, a lot of times they don't sell them in full length, lineal feet. All right, so 73.6. All right, so now that we know the lengths of our room, that's our wall, that's our linear feet of wall. All right, so we added all the wall lengths together. So let's do another equation. All right, say that we're installing vinyl cove base, okay? So, vinyl code base, from my experience, doing floor covering back in the day, comes in boxes, or we get a little advanced in that. So, why don't we do this? One piece of vinyl code base equals four lineal feet long. Okay? So we need 73.6 lineal feet, or we have 76 point lineal feet of wall. We need to figure out how many pieces of vinyl cove base we need to go around the perimeter of this room at the floor. Vinyl cove base is a vinyl trim piece that goes between carpet and the wall. It comes in different colors. We'll get into that later. All right. So how are we going to figure out how many pieces we need? Very simple. We're going to take 73.6 which is our total linear feet of wall. And we're going to divide that by four, okay? Because there's four lineal feet in a piece of code base. I already had that number in my calculator. I'm going to divide that by four, all right? That tells me I need, well, it says that I need 18.4 pieces. You can't go to Home Depot and take a four-foot piece of code base and cut it to 0.4 linear feet. So you would actually need to round it up, 19 pieces. All right? So this is linear feet. I hope you learned something. Go back and watch the video once or twice more and understand the processes of calculating linear feet.
Hope you have a good day. See you tomorrow in class.